Hi everybody, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a blessed day. Okay, so this word um, comes from a dream that I had on 1031-24. Um, in this dream, I got dropped off at this house um, with my daughter, uh, one of my daughters, and um, And it was weird uh, how like this this was. Um, so I get dropped off at this place, at this house, right? Um, and it was like, nobody was there, but it was like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it was like somebody else was living there, but they weren't supposed to be there okay and so it's like there was this window where i could go in not like a literal window but like a window of time right where i could go in and that's when i got dropped off there to go in and then like um make sure that these people didn't go back okay because they weren't supposed to be there to begin with okay and so I get dropped off and I'm there. And the first thing I start doing, and you're going to see how there's a theme here of what God is, is, is saying and doing and all that. The first thing I start doing is I start checking all the doors. Okay. And all of them, every single door was faulty. It wasn't working. I would turn the deadbolt to lock the door and instead of like the deadbolt, like coming out to lock the door, it was paper, like just like a piece of paper. And I'm like, what is that gonna do? And so I'm there trying to fix the doors, right? To get them to close, okay? Um, and so, um, what else happened? There was this door in the back leading to the garage, okay? And it was also faulty. Um, and when I opened it, I saw there was a man there and he was bald, okay? Um, and then I'm trying to lock this door, but remember like it wasn't working. So I'm there trying to lock and close this door. And the man started saying something. I don't know what he was saying. He started saying something and I'm leaning on the door, right? So that he doesn't come in. I'm putting like all my weight on the door. And as I'm like this, I look up and I see that in the corner right there where uh, of the door, there was a camera. There was like a video camera, like surveillance camera there, okay? And when I saw that, I felt relief. Like I felt peace. And I was like, oh, okay, like, to me, it was like, God saw everything. That's how I, I felt it in the dream when I saw the camera, that God saw everything. Um, and then I was looking around, like, after that, like, I guess the man left. And so I start walking around uh, the place and in the kitchen, it looked like they are uh, the people who used to be there. Um, they left while they were in the middle of cooking. They were cooking and I could tell by all the ingredients and everything that they were making chicken soup. Okay, chicken soup. And then I go back to the door that leads to the garage, right? And I open it. And when I opened it like that, it was a refrigerator. It was no longer a regular door. And I'm looking through the refrigerator and even behind the refrigerator and that door was gone. The door that was there was gone. And when I went to go open it, it was a refrigerator. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, and then that was the dream, right? That, that was the, the end of the dream. Um, and so here I get dropped off at this place with my daughter and her name means God's strength. Okay. God's strength. Okay. 
And so this just confirms like the whole Jubilee thing where it says that you will return to your land, you will return to your property, okay? And this is what that represents. It's like I was returning to a place and claiming something that other people had claimed, but they had wrongfully claimed it. And so I had to go back and claim it. This is ministering to me as I speak it. Um, thank you, Holy Spirit. Um, and so then um, I'm looking through and all the doors were faulty. So the people who had been there had a bunch of open doors that like somebody who is in Christ, like, shouldn't have like it's just representative of just letting whatever and anything waltz in it was unprotected right and so i get there and that's the first thing i do is i start making sure that these doors work okay that they are able to be locked um and this takes me back all the way like god first started talking to me about doors uh about the intruders um of like last month was it last month or the month before um and then um getting doors replaced and and having them lock and all of that and this was uh my house but now god is sending me out uh to like work on other doors right um and so that's what I was doing. And so here, this is just confirmation for many of you that God is calling you to really close some doors, okay? Even generational things uh, to end cycles, okay? Um, and I really feel the Holy Spirit downloaded um, from the curse to the blessing. From the curse to the blessing. So this is... Um, this season where you're gonna see the blessing the goodness of god okay in the land of the living you will see it everything you've been believing and waiting on god for none of that was in vain okay you're going to see it and when you see it it's going to be like a dream because when i opened that door all of a sudden it was a refrigerator where there was curse before the man, the bald man represents somebody without hair. Um, rep Cause the hair biblically represents like a covering, right? Of, of God. And it represents uh, the glory of God. And so somebody without hair, is just somebody with that, um, not from God. Right. And so it was like a curse wanted to come in. Something ungodly wanted to come in, but I kept it from coming in. And then when I went to open that door again, it was now a blessing because the refrigerator, and I didn't mention this in the previous video about refrigerator, but the refrigerator represents blessing. It represents storage, okay, where you can store more than you need for one day. Okay, so this is abundance. This is overflow. So you turned curse, the curse into a blessing. Okay, uh, that's Romans 8.28 again. God works for good, all things, okay, for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And so that's what God is doing in this season. That's what God is doing in this hour. Okay, things are being overturned. Curses are being blocked okay, canceled, and they're being replaced with blessing, okay, blessing, and this is gonna happen so fast, because in the dream, it was like, I went to open the door, but by the time I opened it, which just take in how quick that is, when I grabbed it, it was one door, and when I opened it, it was another kind of door, from a regular door to a refrigerator door, Okay, and so he gave me Psalm 126 because it's going to happen so fast and it's all going to feel like a dream. That's how he uh, downloaded it to me, like a dream. That's what he said, like a dream. So that took me to Psalm 126. It seemed like a dream, too good to be true when God returns Zion's exiles. 
We laughed, we sang, we couldn't believe our good fortune. We were the talk of the nations. God was wonderful to them. God was wonderful to us. We are one happy people. And now, God, do it again. Bring rains to our drought-stricken lives so that uh, so those who planted their crops in despair will shout yes at the harvest. So those who went off with heavy hearts will come home laughing with arm loads of blessing. Okay, you're going to need that fridge. That's why God is like giving fridges. Okay, and even if they're empty, it's just extra room for what God is about to give you. Okay, those of you who sowed with tears, you're about to reap with shouts of joy. Okay, and it's all going to be like a dream. Okay, and then um, he also gave me Matthew 16, 19. Like he's giving you keys. He's That's another thing. Doors come with keys, okay? A door never just comes with a door. A door comes with keys, okay? So that represents like the responsibility, okay? And the assignment that God is giving that comes with this, okay? Uh, he has given you the authority to close and bind and to loosen and open okay whatever you do down here on earth will be done in heaven okay and that's matthew 16 19 um and then the chicken soup oh my goodness um so here like god is saying that god even used your enemies to bless you okay because chicken soup is a good thing and god is bringing up chicken soup there's a video, I'm going to link it in the description box, but many of you recently were led to that video about chicken soup because um, I had gotten the YouTube will send like the weekly recap uh, and the monthly recap and that video jumped like um, in views out of nowhere it just went from one ranking all the way up to a higher ranking um so holy spirit really has been using that video if you were led to that video it's like pure holy spirit because here he's bringing up chicken soup again um and chicken soup represents provision it represents protection so what your enemies meant for evil god is using it for good okay from the curse to the blessing god's purposes will prevail okay um also proverbs uh, thirteen twenty two: the wealth of the wicked are stored up for the righteous uh, ecclesiastes two twenty six: sinners are assigned a life of hard labor and end up turning their wages over to god's favorites okay um, and that's what the, the soup uh, represents. And if they were, uh, if they left in the middle of them doing something, of them preparing something, that again confirms how quickly God is going to do this. How quickly God is going to turn things around. Okay. Um, it's all going to happen so fast. So get ready. Be ready, get in position, be counted present, okay? Attendance is being taken. So, yes, this was a lot. And it's, I feel like this joy, this deep, deep joy and like celebration attached to this word. And there's uh, instruction in here. And for those of you who that's for, you caught it, okay? If you're led to rewatch or even take notes, like feel free, okay? Um, so that's it for this word, okay? Oh, and also read Psalm 125. Oh, okay, I'll read it. <laughs> Psalm 125, so he gave Psalm 125 and Psalm 126. Uh, Psalm 125 in the Passion Translation. Those who trust in the Lord are as unshakable, as unmovable, as mighty. Um, Mount Zion. Just as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord's wraparound presence surrounds his people. 
protecting them now and forever. And he highlighted verse 3 here. The wicked will not always rule over the godly, provoking them to provoking them to do what is evil. God, let your goodness be given away to your good people, to all the righteous ones. But those who turn away from truth, let let them. <laughs> My goodness, because I wrote it so small. So I'm like getting lost um, to all your righteous ones. But those who turn away from truth, then you will turn away from you to follow their crooked ways. You will give them just what they deserve. May Israel experience peace and prosperity. So that is what God is getting ready to do and unleash, okay, peace and prosperity, okay? And everything that the enemy tried uh, to do, God is going to use it for your good, okay? Uh, what was meant for evil, God meant it for good, okay? Um, so much confirmation. He's just getting louder and louder. Praise God. Hallelujah. Um, so that's it for this one. All scripture will be in the description box. If you're led to so, you may do so. God bless you. Bye.